All right, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use DocuSign. I'm actually going to just upload a contract and just take you uh, step by step through filling it out on DocuSign. So in this short video, you'll have a complete understanding of how to use it. And that being said, before we jump into this video, please smash that like button and let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna do, obviously, is uh, go to DocuSign. And you're going to uh, see their nice homepage and you're going to want to log in. And I obviously already have an account, so I am just going to log in. And so here we are, here's like the main homepage. Um, it's got some different things. There's my nice signature right there. Uh, so what we're gonna do, if you need to send out a contract, you're gonna do new. So you're gonna do send an envelope. You can do sign a document too, but uh, typically I do send an envelope, envelope, envelope. And it's pretty simple. So these are the documents you're gonna upload. So I'm gonna upload my contract, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then these are the people that are gonna sign. So you don't, the other party doesn't necessarily need to have DocuSign. If it's a seller that maybe is not the most tech savvy, you can still send it to them. They still have to uh, accept it and I'll show you exactly how to do that. I'll just send it to myself so you can see what it looks like on the other side. Um, and then you can also put a custom message like um, sign my offer or you know, you could do like, one, two, three, four, fourth street offer. And then you can write your message. Uh, so it's very, very simple, very straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload a contract now. So I'm gonna use upload. So here it is, here's a contract I just uploaded. This is a pretty simple, uh, straightforward type of contract. I just uh, honestly just found it on the internet. So, uh, but I'll, I'll show you exactly how to do it. So for set signing order, um, I'm gonna be the first person that signs. So I'm gonna put in my uh, info, and I'll just put in Jeff at Action, put in my email address. So I'm gonna be the first person that signs, and then the way it works is once you sign it, it automatically goes to the next person. So I'll just put in Bob Seller, and then I'll put in um, one of my email addresses so that you can see, so that I can open it. And so you can do needs to sign. You can also do like receives a copy. Uh, allowed to edit that type of thing. So typically with a seller, it's just gonna be need to sign. Um, now what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna put myself as the recipient um, so I get a copy of it. So I'm gonna CC myself, and it actually um, should do it automatically for you, but I, I just like to be on the safe side and just have it. Um, so I'm gonna CC myself, and you can CC the seller as well. And then down here is where you're just gonna put, you know, if, if you're sending an offer to a seller, uh, you know, you just put the address and you can say, here is the offer for 500K, you know. I typically don't put too much in the message. And then the next thing is you're just gonna click next and you're going to uh, start filling it out. So here's a standard purchase and sale agreement. So since I'm the first person, uh, there's Bob Seller and then there's me, I'm just gonna put, you know, I can put, um, text you know i put i might put like um 10th day and that that formatting is a little small so you can kind of format it you can do like size 12 font so i'll do like 10th day of let's just say november november and then you know 2000 whatever year 2050 just put in some random numbers and then, so here's where you put the seller name. So I typically, if I'm sending it to a seller, I'm gonna to try to fill out as much as possible for them. I'm not gonna have, leave it too much up to chance. So we'll do Bob Seller, buyer. I'll just put myself as the buyer. Um, and this is just, like I said, this is not, I wouldn't necessarily use this contract. This is just an example. So address, you know, 1234 4th Street, Southeast. Um, can do the city legal description um, and then purchase price you know earnest money deposit you know maybe you do a thousand bucks um, total purchase price you know we'll do five hundred thousand and then you know it's pretty straightforward so you close on or before you, you each contract is going to be different but um, it's pretty so some contracts you're gonna have to initial at the bottom so this one doesn't require an initial, but sometimes you might want to put that at the bottom. Um, 
inspection contingency. You can obviously write in different things. And then if you're, if you're signing it, um, let's say I'm the buyer, so I'm gonna put my signature right there. Um, get date signed and then signature if there's two buyers. And then for them, you can actually fill it out for them a little bit. So I can't personally sign this myself, but I would put in for them to sign it right here, you know, so long as you agree to everything. Uh, and then you can like put initials for them too, if there's a space for that. Um, another quick thing, let's say uh, there's something that you want to cross out. Let's say the seller is like, you know what, I'm good with the offer, but I don't want any inspection clause or anything like that. You can do a markup. So you can get the line out and you can go like this. You can, it's pretty kind of cool. So you can say no inspection. And then obviously if you did no inspection, you'd have to have like both parties initial it next to it. So get both parties, you know, anytime you make a change, you want to get the initials. So we would do that. And then let's say this is a contract. We're good to go. The next thing that you're going to want to do is just make sure everything looks good. So, after I fill out a contract, I always just double check because you'd be surprised, especially some, sometimes some of these states, I was doing a contract in Maryland, it's like 50 pages. So this is a pretty straightforward contract, but some contracts you wanna just, you always wanna double check. So uh, we'll just do um, edit recipients just to make sure we're sending it to the right people. So I'm signing it, Bob Seller signing it, then I'm getting a copy. And I might put Bob in there as getting a copy as well. Um, and so I'll do, I'll make sure the recipients are good. Um, I'll make sure the message is good. So one, two, three, four, four street offer. Here's the offer for 500 K, um, edit documents. So if you want to add like a property disclosure, if you want to add proof of funds, if you want to add different things like that, it's, it's pretty easy just to upload it. DocuSign makes it pretty simple and straightforward. Um, and then you're pretty much good to go. So the next thing you would do is you would just click send. And then it's going to go, I'll, I'll pull up my email as well so you can see it, but I'll just do send. We're sending it to myself, it's successfully sent, saving the environment by not using paper. And then we just go to my inbox and I'm going to pull up my email and it, we'll see it in my email. I'll move this out of the way so you don't see me. So I sent it to myself as Bob the seller, but I also obviously need to sign it. So this is the email. This is how it looks to me. Here's the offer for 500 K, but I need to actually sign it. So I agree. Electronic consent. Start. All right. So this is me. This is me as the purchaser. So this is going to be my initial. I can do my initial and you can write, um, you can have different, you know, you can draw out your initials and stuff like that. This looks fine for me. This is much nicer than my own initials. So we'll say, okay. So I'd initial that. And then me as the buyer, I'd sign that, date it. And then I would just say finish. And then once I finish it, then it goes to the seller. It automatically gets emailed to the seller. So I'll show you that email. We'll do finish, save a copy of my document. And I already have this. Um, so it's, it's, it typically just automatically sends you a copy and it's, it's going to send me a copy because I put it in the CC. All right. So now I'm done. And yeah, you see, you receive an email copy once everyone has signed. So it makes it very easy and it's DocuSign is very user friendly. So if you're not a tech person, DocuSign is great. And so I'm going to show you the email that I received. So this is me as Bob the seller now. So this is my other email. This is what a potential seller would get. And even if they don't have DocuSign, it's fine. It, you know, you just agree to electronic signatures. So this is what they receive, you know, I initialed there. So I would just need to press start and I just initial there. And then Bob seller, I can do my own um, <laughs> BS, um, adopt an initial. And then, you know, I just do next and then I pretty much just sign it. And once we signed it, you know, theoretically, you know, I'm not a lawyer, but theoretically you'd have a ratified contract. So do sign and then finish. And like I said, it, it gives, it automatically sends you a copy of the uh, transaction. So that's, uh, that's how you do DocuSign. And I would say this, there's a lot of services out there that are similar to DocuSign, but I say DocuSign is the best. I, I've actually used several of them and they're somewhat comparable. But DocuSign is very inexpensive. I think it's like 10 or 20 bucks per month. 
Uh, it's very user friendly and it's, I think it's like the biggest, uh, the biggest and the best. So if you're interested in using DocuSign or, or if you have any questions, check out my link below. Now, if you do sign up with my link, I do get a small commission off of it. Uh, but if you appreciated this video, you know, I would appreciate you signing up with this link. Uh, but either way, just drop any questions below if you have them. Definitely check out my link below. And I would highly recommend using DocuSign. All right. Talk to you later.